Okay, so I actually have like a full vlog for you guys, but honestly looking through the footage, I was like, no, I gotta sit down, I gotta talk to them because was there so many emotions going through my damn body. I know a lot of you guys have actually been waiting for this vlog, so thank you for your patience. And I wanna just jump right into the footage that I have, but don't be surprised when I pop up later, possibly crying, throwing up, screaming, who knows, and talking to you actually about what was going on. Is she gonna focus on me? Probably not, because I don't look like a person. <laughs> jump scare. Hey guys, I'm gonna actually try to vlog and like do my job correctly, but tonight we are gonna go see Halsey. I am so excited. As many of you guys know, I have been a fan of Halsey since their EP came out, so it has been a minute. Plus, the last time I was gonna go see her in concert, but I don't even remember what year it was, but that was the year that I ended up getting sick at the show with food poisoning, so I deserve to have a good night. I need to make up for one, lost time, and two, whatever happened that show. So right now I'm getting ready. It is currently um, a time. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. My sister and I are going to the show. She has become my like unofficial concert buddy, whether she likes it or not. We are gonna miss the opening act of the show, but that's okay just because here in Arizona, um, Hi, it's summer, it's high. And we don't do good with heat. So, which is really ironic because it's currently raining. So what's happening? You tell me. I have to say this is the first time in a really long time for a concert that I'm going in almost blind. Like I really don't know anything about the show. I've been trying to keep it that way. I wanna go in and be surprised, you know? I wanna have a full experience because this week has been. As you can see, it's a mess here because I had to clear my bed and like a section of my room because Binksy, oh that poor soul, God bless her. She had been acting like really weird the last couple days. So we took her, or I took her to the animal hospital. It was there from like 4.30 and she didn't come home until like 1.30 in the morning. So that was, that was a day. She had a swollen, this is so gross, I'm so sorry. She had a swollen anal gland. So they had to like, yeah. So now she has the cone of shame and I've been babying her like no tomorrow. Like if I could give that cat my kidney, I would. And on top of that, I've been in my editing cave trying to, fig trying to finish Stranger Things, so. I want to have fun tonight. You out of the shower? No. Want to say hi to my vlog? No. Okay. That's rude. You're not gonna like go all out, are you? I don't have anything. Well, but you can with makeup or something. Oh well, yeah. That's <laughs> 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 you can't. I don't go anywhere. And I do. Okay, I'm gonna turn on some music and we are gonna try to speed through this process. <laughs> Crazy stuff, guys. First off, makeup done. Outfit, very simple. Don't mind the mess. Ada, ada. I'm gonna wear some shoes. I look naked, but that's okay. Uh -da, uh -da, uh -da. So I think she's supposed to be on in like 45 minutes, but here's the catch. Which is so funny because I think it's just raining. I don't even know if it's lightning or anything, but it's Arizona. We don't know what that is. So is the show gonna get canceled? Do we just go down there anyway? I don't have lipstick on. Amber, what lipstick should I wear? Mm -hmm. Do you care? Ugh, I'm trying to fix my hair. Okay, but fix me. Woo! She looks like she's going to a Halsey show. I look like I'm going, I don't know where I'm going. 21 Pilots maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I have a feeling the show's gonna get canceled. Really? I don't know, cause there was this one show where it, I mean, the actual venue flooded and there was like a squirrel or something like trying to fight for its life, I don't know. But I saw on Twitter because there's obviously people that are already down there and someone said that it hasn't rained in like over 30 minutes. So does that mean they're gonna open the doors? Like, I don't know. Five minutes later. Guess what guys? Woo! Amber go woo! 
I hate you. Anyway, we are gonna leave now. I don't know if that means the opening act's still gonna happen, if it just goes straight to Halsey. I don't know anything, and honestly, I don't think anyone knows what's going on. That's usually just how it goes, but... Ooh, Yonce. <laughs> um, anyway, let's go then. We made it, I think. I don't know where I'm going, but I see people. All those people were here sitting in their car waiting to get let in. That's crazy. Okay, so either no one dresses up or everyone dresses up. Yeah, There's literally. no in between. You're either out there or you're not. Literally. <sighs> Oop, let me not oh. run over this person. <laughs> oh, that's not parking. Um, now I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Did I park okay? <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs> Let's see. If I look at the line. Ah, look at this, guys. Who said I can't drive? I can drive. I mean, it is awful. I just wanted to point out real quick, Amber looks at me and then goes, wow, this lighting is really awful. Girl, just say I look bad. <laughs> there are so many people here. I don't even know where I'm going. There's all these people here walking from God knows where. And then I can't even see it, but everyone's over there. You good? So yes, it was an absolute nightmare to get down to the venue. Honestly, it was at the, uh, what is it? The auction, auction. I'm still in my heart stopper mode, I'm so sorry. Is that the auction pavilion? I think that's how you say it. It's personally not my favorite venue that I've been to down here in Arizona. I really only go down there if it's someone that I really like. Also because it is, like I said, an outdoor venue. I don't do very well with heat. Yeah, I live in like one of the hottest states. Okay, but the show started and it was so powerful and I think my favorite part of it, I was so just like amazed with the visuals and like the sound. I didn't even realize that they were already on the stage. Like I looked up and I saw her, I was like, oh. Hey queen. What you want, take what you can, take what you please, don't give a damn, it's in the blood. This is tradition. No, you waited. We have a very long show ahead of us tonight. I am making no concessions, no sacrifices. We're doing the whole thing. I don't think I can emphasize this enough, how bad Amber's chills were. And it just really amazed me because obviously this wasn't my first Halsey show. Bring somebody who, you know, likes Halsey's music, doesn't really know all the songs, but like is there willing to have a good time. It was so amazing to see her reaction to them. Amber turned around and was just like, I was not expecting a Halsey show to be like this. She's actually a real rock star up there. And I was like, girl, I know, I know. I know.
time seeing me play a concert. How many of you guys have seen me play a concert before? I feel like there's more new people here. That's what I mean, yeah. That's awesome. I love when people come and see my show for the very first time because I feel like, you know, as much of myself as I try to put into my albums and into like social media and all that, it's like so different being here in person, being in the same room with you, you know? Like, it's just a completely different thing. I tweeted a couple days ago and I was like, uh, I feel like people don't really know me until they see me, see me play a concert. I'm like a pogo stick version of a nervous wreck, you know? It's great eyeshadow.
The show was pretty much over. I didn't record everything just because, you know, like I love vlogging for you guys, but I also like just being in the moment. And like when I try to film, I try not to freak out, even though like you can hear me and my sister screaming in the back. It's fine. Ignore that. It's fine. We might be serving vocals. We might be serving dying cat. It's fine. But it truly was such a great, amazing show. If you ever have the chance to go see them live, I highly recommend it, even if you don't know everything, just because there is so much there. And honestly, every time she would like take a second to talk, I was like, damn, I'm really in love with this bitch. <laughs> That's mother. She's serving mother. She had so many speeches, so many great moments, but honestly, the best part was when she performed Nightmare. And after the performance, they had a whole speech about abortion and I really wanted to share it with you guys just because I thought, like it was such a moment being there and like listening to them talk about it and their experience. And obviously I'm not telling you what to think, feel, whatever, do what you want, but I'm gonna tell you how I feel. You can agree, you can disagree, it's fine. I am pro-choice and will forever be pro-choice. And I respect Halsey so much for talking about the experience that they went through and just flat out being like, listen, if I didn't have an abortion, you would not be here right now. And the amount of people, I wish I got all of it on film. I was trying to record it, but then my phone was like, haha, out of storage. But what I didn't capture was people like being in the front towards the stage and like booing them and like showing how much they were disagreeing with her. And it's like, you know what? That's fine. That's your opinion. And I think even Halsey realized that and was just kind of like, if you don't agree with me and you want to go, go, bye. Like, don't let the door hit you on the way out. I, I'm pretty sure she actually said that, which is really funny. And from my understanding, that actually happened at a lot of shows after mine. So that's kind of crazy, but you know what? That's why we stand artists who use their voice, who use their platform to make a change, bring awareness, whatever it may be. So I'm going to leave you off with that footage. I hope you enjoy. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one, which will not be a concert vlog. You gotta wait till October for that. All right, bye-bye. Today in Arizona, you cannot get an abortion. You are in a room right now full of 12,000 people. And the reality is, is that someone standing to the right of you or to the left of you has benefited in some way by abortion. That's the reality. You guys are at this concert right now because I had an abortion that saved my life. I struggled to get pregnant for a very long time. I struggled to get pregnant for so long. And a lot of people think that because I struggled with infertility, with endometriosis, with other reproductive illnesses, that that would mean that once I got my baby, that I wouldn't be pro-choice anymore.
but I would not have been able to have my baby if I had not had that abortion. Motherhood, parenthood, is not something that you can force someone into. It's not. I hope that you guys understand that there is a tremendous amount of work that needs to be done right now. It starts on the ground, and it starts with us, and it starts with us protesting and petitioning our local legislators. If you're a man in this audience right now, and you're sharing statistics on Instagram and infographics and saying, wow, man, that's really fucked up. What you should do instead is you should be sharing stories about how you've benefited from abortion somehow. The truth is that my heart breaks looking out into this audience because I see so many people, so many people who deserve to have a choice. A choice. incredible lives, who deserve the right to the health care that they need, who deserve the right to choose themselves in a situation where there is a choice. You. And I don't want you to ever have to be in a situation where you don't have access to that. I'm looking at your faces right now. I'm looking at you. I am remembering your faces. I am remembering what you look like, what you are wearing. And I know that the reality is, is that some of the people I'm looking at right now are going to need an abortion one day. And you deserve that. Whether it's a life-threatening situation or it's not, you deserve it.